up, y'all? This Aunt Glizzy and this Bob Sun TV. And this is the most highly anticipated interview y'all been waiting on. We in the building with Simba. Simba, what's up, Simba? Yeah, what it is, yeah, that. For the people that don't know, tell them where you from. I'm from the village, man. We're gonna be Village, Maryland. Almo County. Oh, Maryland. You know, the growth. What's a day like growing up in MoCo? It's like, it's decent. Like, you got different areas, so it's different in different spaces. It's just like, it ain't the same growing up everywhere in D.C., but it's basically like, for me, that's like, decent, you know what I mean? Start hanging around. Really, you just get into, like, wrapped up in the environment, depending on where you at, for real. What made you start rapping? Cause like, I like to rap, like music for real, like since I was younger. And I probably learned how to rap when I was like nine or so. So I been like the rapper and I knew I was good at it. So I did the If you could work with anybody in the DMV, who would it be? For the DMV? Yeah. Brett Fires or so. Where fire is probably. How did you end up linking up with Money Set? Well, we locked it in, you know what I mean? I with Money Set. Man, we was, uh, you know, I've been with certain niggas from the yo, for real. So, like, when I was locked up, I was this man, for real, Reaper. And, like, he locked us in, for real. So, when I came over, we just leaked to the stew and all that other I with him. Came around there, you know what I'm saying? Locked it down. I bit like this music, cause I liked it. I liked one of his songs for real. Uh, the about what he was like. He was like, from the north to the south, that joint, I was with that joint. If, if you can work with anybody right now, who would you want to work with? Young boy. Why you say NBA young boy? Young boy, I with his uh, music for real. That's the big music that I've been with, for real. I feel like y'all styles match, though. That's that, that's a good fit, though. That'd be a good look. Yeah. Nah, for real. What's the most views you ever got on a video? Like, one single video. What's the most views you ever got? Five million, probably. Five million on the 500 bars part two. Damn, you did five million. That's probably every Aunt Glizzy video ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that joke went crazy. That joke went crazy, for real. What's the name of the song? I gotta go play that joke. What's the name of it? Uh, 500 Bars Part 2. I heard that joke already. I heard. I think I heard both of them jokes already. Yeah. Both of them got millions. You the biggest rapper in MoCo. Is there any more rappers in MoCo though? Like, do MoCo got any other big rappers? My bad. My man, for real. Really. Smurda. You know. Stunning what's their Instagrams? Tell the people how I find them. Like, what's their IGs? My man, Skrilla, uh, the real Skrilla. The real Skrilla, I think, D-A, the real Skrilla. Who you feel like the baddest female rapper in the rap game right now? <laughs> you know who I'm going with. I love her. Call her Ray all day. Call her Ray. Call her Ray? Fuck you. <laughs> Call her Ray like that. <laughs> she, she the baddest in the rap game. Baddest in, baddest in the industry. Man, you look like that could be your sister, bro. Stop <laughs> Stop playing, call the way back, man. Who your top five DMV rappers? Top five DMV rappers? Uh, you know. Uh, I put uh, Lil Savage in there. Uh, Lil Savage, guess what? You know me. But my man Lil Smurda. It was a white boy. And I f***ing set. I f***ing set. Yeah. Most definitely. If you can sign a deal with any big DMV rapper that made it out, like a Wale, Shaq, Lizzie, or Fetcher, or out of them three, which one would you pick? That side would never down. That would never happen. If you could talk to a label, if a label was listening to you, what would you tell them? Hey, oh, 
Oh, man, this Jake Phil. But this is day two, bro. They already, I'm already working. You know. When you first came home from jail, the labels reach out to you. I know you probably was the hottest on the market. Yeah, for sure. Couple of. Them. Your first million dollars. What you gonna do with it? First million. Yeah. yeah. I would buy a business for us off the rip. So real estate too. Then I'm gonna keep 500, you know. And just be making money off of that. I see you had went to jail and came back and me and you had got into it on the internet because the people, you know, the people just being the people, they on YouTube clickbait and they pitched something about Aunt Glizzy said Simba hot something. But I remember the the live, but I was talking about something completely different. They just put that in the caption, and that joke just flew on. Yeah, so when I seen that, you know, I got offended because, you know, that's some real street <laughs> Like, as a man, you already, I was thinking, like, you know, you you can't do that for real because I already know. Everybody really already know what's up with me for real. So I was just like, man. So, you know, anybody would have been on that. But then when, like, really I got the understanding when, like, I know certain people hollered at you and I had Ronnie Moe and shit. And I was just like, bro, it like he just he got he just was confused. He already know that's not that, so you know. What the hell holl at you? And this for the people that don't know, I never in my life seen no paperwork on symbol or not, bro. Me calling you hot was like me defending myself. I ain't know what to say about you, bro. I ain't had nothing. I had to whip up a story out the hat real quick. Yeah, I know, and that's what like motherfuckers be trying to do, cause like they be silent. They can't really say nothing about me, so that's when I was like, I just had to do that. And that joint job was was running like, you know, you had your little buzz and shit, so I had to like, that shit was jack. Speaking of jail, what's the worst experience? What's the worst thing? Worstest thing you experienced in jail? Worst thing I experienced in jail, man. Yeah, I ain't really experienced nothing worse happen to me. You know what I mean? Because we just like, I was good for real. You know what I mean? I was good my whole time in jail, but like the first time I seen a nigga get stabbed, I was I was actually in a war in jail that I had to go over lock up for with a couple of the brothers. I was actually with your man, bruh, my uh, Ronnie Mo, me and Ronnie Mo. We we had went to war in that joint with another like it was a fake little prison gang like the white niggas. You know what I mean? You know the little racist shit, my. <laughs> but like, Ronnie, we had the Muslim brothers for real, so they had their knives. We just like crushed them for real. But like the worst thing I seen niggas happen to my man. I ain't gonna lie, I was over lockup. And my we was over there, I was it was this nigga from Baltimore, his name was Mitch for real, I ain't gonna lie. We used to work out when we was over lockup right after that happened. We used to work out in the cages and and that nigga was just talking about how he about to go home and for real. He was about to go home for real. And he only had like he had like ten, but he already did like five, so he was already going home. But it was this crazy nigga that was back there over lockup and and the nigga uh the nigga name was OG Blaze for real. This nigga was crazy for real though, like he ain't no Baltimore nigga, so he was like he was this nigga was rapping four tight and he was you know what I mean and niggas was like boy four tight in the train station and he used to real life. He was crazy, the nigga was off in the head for real, so they moved him in a cell with the nigga from Mitch, bro. That was from Baltimore. He came back from there because he, he went off a lockup. He got stabbed because he was talking He got stabbed. Came right back on lockup. Moved him in a cell with Mitch. My uh, That nigga killed that nigga, bro. All right, but like we back there. My was just like... <laughs> we was just like, bro, for real, bro. Like, hey, bro, like, you good? But he was fighting. And then they were like, yeah. And then after that... You just ain't him no more. All you heard was the nigga just like, it's murder, for real. Then he died, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. But it was a couple niggas died up that joint, though. But yeah. And what jail you was in again? My Humberland, up WCI. It was a maximum security joint. I was up there for like four years. That's not like one of the most turned joints. But like, the joint across the street, North Branch is more turned than that joint, though. So. But niggas be dying up that joint though. Now I was up there like 
Fine, nigga. You literally sh don't lie. You wasn't scared to go to jail. I'm scared for you. When I first, nigga, like, when I was in jail, wasn't really like. When I seen that, like, crazy, though, when I went up the road, you hear me? I ain't gonna lie. But then, I was good for real. What's your favorite jail snack? Like, what you make in jail? You was in there. What's the snack you made? Man, I don't even with the snacks. You don't even eat, bro. You little and you don't eat snacks. How would you survive? <laughs> you know, I don't want to eat no, no snacks. I'd rather eat meals. Nah, but when you went to jail, when I seen you first go to jail, you was like bony. Like, your first picture out, you got big. You was in there eating something. You was on trades or something. I was in there eating for real, working out, but yeah, I ain't really eat snacks though, other than honey buns. How does it feel when you get sentenced to 24 years? Like, what's your heart feel like? Like, how was you feeling in the courtroom? Like, damn. Cause it happened so crazy. Like, I was like, bro, niggas just lost trial, but I'm thinking like, still, this is my first. Really, uh, every time as an adult, for real, getting in trouble. So I thought I was gonna get like 18 months or maybe 10 years, maybe. But I just like, but my Cody had already came back in and told me that he got 30. So I was like, all right, damn, I already knew they was about to spank me. When it came out, like, damn, they just spanked niggas, bro. That's crazy. For real. Definitely. I'm glad you got back on that. Yeah, Shit, I'd have cried. I'm telling you, I ain't gonna play bad. I'd have cried. I've still been crying to this day. You say you would have tried to what? I wouldn't have tried. I said I would have been crying. Oh, nah, yeah. I ain't crying there because it was endless people in that. When you get this time, like, do you, do it hit you instantly or you go back to the cell and then you think about it like, damn? I should have hit you instantly and, and then. Did life change on the outside when you came back home? Like, was was stuff moving new? Was technology different? Yeah, it was a little different. But niggas had technology in jail for real, too. How old was you when you got locked up? I mean, 17. But then I turned 18, though. So what, they waited for you to turn 18? Yeah, because the joint was from when I was 17, but it waited for me to turn 18 for real. I be hearing about like that in the movie. What's the difference between MoCo and PG? Man, I never lived out PG, but um, don't know, bro. Like, in certain spots is different, bro. But certain spots in MoCo, like, it's all like crazy, though. If you see what's going on, I tap in for real. I'm high what RG stand for? I always sing that on your name. Oh, that's rude. Oh, that's what and you and you always say rude? I always say that. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. I know I know you got a relationship with YC. I don't be seeing a lot of rappers keep YC name alive. Could you uh give us could you explain y'all relationship and give us like a, a good moment, like a good moment of why I see something you would want the people to remember him by? But why she was the best at the bro. Gonna lie to you. Why she was just always turned, he always was trying, he always was, you know, outside for real. Like, so why when I see around why she, like, he would send me some traction. I never get to go to the studio with him, he always would be on other for real, like, on. You know, I was like, why she was like that, bro? I ain't gonna lie. He was like that with that. Yeah. Do you know your plan after rap? Like, later on, when you get older in life, did you think about what you wanna do after rap? Yeah, for real. Just trying to be on my dean, for real. Trying to be on my dean, go to Mecca, have a wife, for real. Just be on my Muslims. Strictly be on, just be on my team for real. Have enough money where well, I ain't gotta do. Be on my team for real, I ain't gotta do nothing else.
That's all I want to do. I appreciate I appreciate you and I don't want nothing but the best for you, bro. I just wanna see you in. I told you we locked in now from this day on. Whatever the past is the past, bro. Whatever I can do to help you, I'm here. Yeah, I was telling you the same thing, bro. You know. Ain't about nothing. For the people that don't know how I find you, tell them how I find your Instagram. Anybody you wanna shout out or anything, go ahead and tell them. It's IG Summer, you know. IG Summer. You know. All right, bro, just stay out of jail and we good. <laughs> nah, for real, bro.